G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview of the 7 things you should do after first installing Linux Mint 15 on your uh, whatever box, Mint box if you will, on your PC. So I'll get straight into it. Now first of all what you want to do after you do install it is uh, update it to the latest version. So you want to go to applications menu and then go to wherever you may find it actually, but uh, in my case it's update manager. So straight off the bat you're going to find that mine, uh, enter your password there, mine looks a little bit different to yours because I'm running uh, GNOME Classic on Linux Mint 15. I'll show you how to install it in a different uh, video, but you'll most likely be running Cinnamon, which isn't too much different really in the end. Uh, so just go to your applications menu, find the update manager, and mine should load up in a second. There we go. Downloading package information, great. Once it has, click install updates up there. Then you'll have the latest up-to-date uh, bug fixed software that's that's going to keep you happy and well. And extra packages for existing software that will uh, work out great for everyone. So, number two, moving on to the second thing is additional drivers. So installing additional drivers. Now this is important when you've got a proprietary uh, hardware in your system, like a Wi-Fi card or a video card even. Uh, so go to your applications menu again, go to system settings and let that one load up which generally takes more than a few seconds unfortunately. Here we go, that wasn't too bad. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see device drivers. Now let that one load, put in your password, let it load again. Now the good thing about this one is, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, it allows you to activate your, your hardware for proprietary drivers on your system, which is really good. Uh, it's called device drivers, as I've said, this little icon here in this program, indeed. But uh, previously it was called additional drivers in the old versions of uh, Linux Mint 13, 12 and backwards, and, uh, but it's all the same thing anyway. Uh, I don't know if that's loading, so I'm just going to try and click into that again, because that seems to be taking a while too long should uh, open up soon enough, but that's not soon enough. Okay, great, here we go. So as you can see, I've only got the VirtualBox driver, no proprietary driver, so I don't have to click on anything like a Wi-Fi driver and then click Apply Changes to get my actual Wi-Fi card to work. But if you do have that issue, then definitely do that. So this cannot be understated, the, uh, the driver manager here, or the device drivers window. So that's done. Okay, moving on. The next thing you need is uh, video and audio codecs like MPEG-4, DivX, MP3, things like that. So you need to download the restricted extras. So in order to do that, you'll want to go to a uh, terminal to install them and type in the following, sudo apt-get install Ubuntu restricted whoop, extras hit enter, throw in your password, and then follow the prompt. Mine's already installed, so it's a little bit shorter than what yours is going to look like on the terminal output there, but uh, pretty much all the same, just as I said, follow the prompt. So we've done that, install and additional drivers, uh, sorry, Ubuntu restricted extras, and here's another thing, of course you'll see it says Ubuntu, and you might wonder why, because it's Linux Mint, but uh, Linux Mint uh, 15, and all Linux Mints for that matter, are in fact uh, based off um, Ubuntu, essentially. Okay, great, moving on. Next, selecting the best download server. Now, you want this so that you can actually download and update your computer a lot faster, things of that nature. Now, in order to find that, uh, there's a couple of places to find it. Software sources, if I can find it, but I can't. So go to the update manager again. Here we go. And there's a little bit roundabout of a way to get in there. In fact, it almost it may almost be in system settings as well to confuse you guys a bit. Uh, I think we might be able to get through it to it from both parts. But I'll just cancel that for a second. And yeah, don't worry about that. And when it decides to load up, here we go, system settings might be a bit faster. So we should be able to see software sources. Actually, if we can't see it, go to switch to advanced mode there and then we want software sources, software sources. They keep moving things around in uh, Linux Mint, so it gets a little bit annoying. Here we go, software sources, I just have to type it in there to find it. So there we go. Uh, of course, if you're using Cinnamon, you can just type it in the applications menu and you'll find it a lot quicker. So that's all my bad there. Uh, throw in your password, find it there, then 
to select the fastest download server, you'll see the mirrors here for the main, the main package, Olivia, Linux Mint 15, uh, Olivia. Click on that, then soon enough, you'll see how fast each of the servers are. The longer the green, the, uh, you know, it indicates, of course, the faster the server, and the little red ones, like the one in Kenya here or China, are uh, pretty slow. So you don't want to select them. Select the one you want, click apply, and then just get out of there, and then there you go, you got the fastest server. Too easy, very visual interface, easy to sort of uh, get a feel for. You can't, uh, you can't really make too many mistakes there. So once that's done, yeah, just get out of that, and I'm just going to get out of everything here clean it up a bit. Now the next thing you want is a firewall. Now Linux doesn't uh, really need antivirus per se, but uh, it still does need a firewall to, to block incoming connections or allow them, if you will. Now I would recommend uh, something called Firestarter, and I'll show you how to download it because you most likely won't have it as a default application. So the great thing about Firestarter is it, it first comes with a, uh, I've already sort of set this up a little bit, but it comes with a firewall wizard, so it makes it really easy to use it. And later on you can add ex you know, other exceptions and policies and things just to uh, keep it going as you would. So really good uh, little thing there. So go to a terminal in order to install it. So uh, really simple, just a line of code. And we type sudo apt-get install Firestarter. Like the Prodigy song, right? So, showing my age with that one. Um, let that one load up and then just follow the prompts. Mine's already installed, so it will just do that. But it will, if it's not on your computer, of course, just hit yes, then OK, or enter, and then uh, it installs. So that's all done. Now, next, uh, which most people won't really consider something to do uh, when you you know, when you know start Linux Mint, but uh, you really want VLC Media Player. Why? Because it just plays everything and not just that it's got extra really cool functionality for effects and filters and track synchronization for subtitles or audio when something just comes through bad there's just so many really good things about this that you know I could go on all day but I won't I'll just leave it at that so that's the six of the seven things you should do and last but not least is keyboard shortcuts always handy in Linux and for that matter Mac and Windows but always great to have so Go to your applications menu, find system settings again, and then uh, when you actually, when the window does uh, start to open, you'll uh, you might have to switch to advanced mode to actually find keyboard. You'll see down the bottom it says switch to advanced mode, so click on that, then find keyboard, an icon called keyboard, or just type it in and you'll find it there under hardware. Click on that puppy, and then go across, and I've got to set some up here, but uh, basically. Add a custom shortcut, for example, uh, Firefox or Start Firefox, and then Command, which also happens to be Firefox. Uh, most things in Linux are uh, they are the command that the name of the program is to open it. So there we go. Click Add, and then you'll see down here it's unassigned. So make sure it's the Firefox is clicked there, and type Control Alt F. Oh no! Or wait, click on that. Keyboard bindings. Whoop. Here we go. So I've actually got to click that uh, once or twice. So it says new accelerator. So I'm going to try type Control Alt F now, and there we go. So from now on, when I uh, type Control Alt F, Firefox is going to come up. So close that, and there you go. And set up uh, custom shortcuts for you know whatever you can really, and everyone's happy. So that's pretty much it, guys. In a nutshell, that is the seven things you should do when you first install Linux Mint. I hope it's been helpful. There is some changes since the previous versions of Linux, so it's uh, good that I've mentioned those. And uh, please leave a comment, most of all. Thanks for your time, and please subscribe. Cheers, guys. Take care.